Hello everyone and welcome. This is a quick tutorial on how to watch 3D videos or 3D movies in VR. Now, the free media player DOVR is what I used to recommend simply because it's free and easy to use. However, they no longer allow you to scale half side-by-side -side videos into, you know, a full, full width. I don't know why, so we're just going to be ignoring them. We're going to go straight to the premium. I think it's like $3 or $5. Early gig media player. I'm going to launch that real quick. Now, there's a lot of stuff here, an awful lot of settings. We're going to go into the ones that are necessary to make this work. But first, we need to open a video. So I am going to go to, I would believe, this drive. And I just recorded this video in Cyberpunk 2077. OK, so when we open it, it actually defaulted to 3D. See, normally it might look something like this, where you have your left eye and your right eye separate. And you just click this little button here called Depth to put it in the right format. And this is side-by-side -side mode right here. And now this is going to be flat to you, but it's actually 3D for me. But you can see it's not widescreen like the game would be. And this was recorded in half side-by-side -side mode, and that's why it's doing this. So we're going to hit our gear icon here to open the settings. And we default to the projection, projection settings tab, which is where we want to be. It defaulted to cinema, which is good. That's what we want it to be on. Barrel is for VR videos, as is fisheye. Now, scale and all that is fine for now. What we want to do is stretch this out to 200%. And now if I click outside, you can see that looks pretty good. The depth is a little off because I didn't have time to tweak it to be correct before I recorded this. And only one eye can see the frame rate counter. And it's the one that's recording, so you guys can see it. Now, other things we can do here is we can adjust the distance. If our movie is too large and we can't see the whole thing, we can actually make it farther away. So it's a little bit more like watching a TV. We can also adjust the scale to simulate how far away the video is. And now when we're ready to play it, we can either hit play or we can just click outside of the controls and it'll start playing. So for me, this is in full 3D. I can see this as if it's a 3D movie or, or whatever playing on a 3D TV. For you guys, it's going to be just flat two-dimensional video because I can't represent 3D video properly on YouTube. And of course, we have controls we can skip. We have volume. We have all the traditional things that you can do in a, in a 3D media player or in any other media player. But if we go back to settings, I want to show you the depth here. So we're on side-by-side -side mode, obviously. But it has auto detect depth enabled. If we turn that off, we can actually adjust our stereo separation if the depth is not correct, which can help us if things don't look right. So right now, I'm just going to leave it on this because it's mostly correct. And honestly, it's that simple. That's all you have to do to watch a 3D movie. Now, if it's a weird format, Early Gig has additional settings. That's what their custom is for. And you can see it, it did some really weird stuff here because it's trying to map different parts of the video to sides of a cube. That's what this cube map horizontal T means. If we click on that, we get a whole bunch of different formats, including YouTube's custom cube map formats, which obviously we're not using. That's only for special 3D YouTube videos. But you have a ton of different formats here that you can use. If you have Oddball, you know, Samsung Gear 360, you have Oddball formats. I'm just going to click on something to get us back to the settings. There we go. We're going to go back to cinema. Now, you see how it went back to half width? So we're going to have to stretch it again, and then it looks normal again. So there are some oddities to the software. You can also show and hide your controllers by clicking the grip buttons. 
you can tell I have an HTC Vive. Oh, I should probably also point out that there are controls on the left controller. But for some reason right now, they're only visible in uh, you know, when the controls are open. I think there's a setting for that that I've changed. I think by default, the controllers remain visible while the video is playing. And if you want them to disappear, you just click your group button and they disappear. But that's pretty much it. There's very little else that you need to worry about. You just need to make sure that you've got things stretched properly. And you've got to make sure you have it as, as far away as you want it and that you're on the correct depth setting. Those are the three major things you have to worry about. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comment section. And thank you for watching, and have a nice day.